Hi all, welcome back today for another What I Eat in a Day. You've obviously seen loads of What I Eat in a Day videos, so today I decided I was going to do it slightly differently, and while I'm showing you my meals and my meal prep on a busy work day, I decided to also talk you through some of the health benefits of the foods that I eat and the foods that I combine. Many things that I myself was unaware of, but that I looked up afterwards. Um, just so you get a bit of an idea and also because, as I said, I don't really focus on these things but looking back at what I ate and then seeing the health benefits of the things that I eat and that make me feel nourished and seeing the foods that I combine and how they work together it makes me feel quite good about myself and it makes me realise that there's not much of a point to stress about it too much or to focus on it too much because it's something I sort of do naturally and it's something that I think many people do naturally just because I think you'll realize what your body um, what kind of food it appreciates what things it likes to eat together and um, how good your body actually is at telling you these things so let's get straight to it for breakfast, I had some homemade yogurt with banana, an apple, red fruits and chia jam, Brazil nuts and flax seeds, and lastly a peanut butter cookie. Studies have shown that the antioxidant effects of consuming a combination of fruits are more than additive, but synergistic. So, if you have yourself a bowl of fruit in the morning, don't just have one kind of fruit. Just include loads of different fruits and this will have a much stronger effect on your health. Also, I included apples, which are known to be high in anti-inflammatory flavonoids called quercetin especially in their skins. For this reason, I also buy organic apples, even though they are a little bit more expensive. But um, the pesticides tend to concentrate in the skins and I like to eat the skins, so I do want to be safe when I eat my apples. Um, on its own, quercetin has been shown to reduce the risk of allergies, heart attack, Alzheimer's, Parkinson's and prostate and lung cancers. It effects are additionally complemented when eaten in combination with the flavonoid catechin, which can be found in chocolate, grapes, red wine, green tea and raspberries. Hence the red fruit and chia jam. Together, catechins and quercetin loosen clumpy blood platelets, improving cardiovascular health and providing anti coagulant activity. Moreover, the red fruits used to top the yogurt provide vitamin C, which together with the vitamin E from the peanut butter cookie, promotes tissue function, among other things. The combination also neutralizes the free radicals generated during sun exposure, helping prevent sun damage, and they strengthen the collagen in skin um, better than if either one, vitamin C or vitamin E, were consumed just on their own, as opposed to in combination. The two vitamins work quite well together because they have complementary roles in the body. With the fibre, minerals and vitamins from the fruit, the fats from the nuts and the cookie, the protein from the nuts, the cookie and the chia seed jam, this was one top-notch meal and a great way to start my day. I obviously also had a cup of tea because it just really relaxes me and it's a great way for me to start my morning on a good note. I also wrote my gratefulness journal before leaving to go to work. At work I was transcribing interviews from about 9 in the morning until um, I left at the end of the day at 4.30 but um, I'd only been working for about an hour when I started to feel a little bit hungry. So as a snack, I had some leftovers from the night before. Um, it was about 10 o'clock and 
yeah, I was just a bit peckish. So although I find that sugars get my energy up most quickly, fats give me more sustained energy. And I know they do wonders inside my body as well, regulating my hormones and the like. So I had some roasted vegetables with some tahini dressing. I then had lunch at 12.30. Um, for lunch I had some more roasted vegetables, so courgettes and aubergine, as well as roasted, curries, roasted curried chana masala beans. Um, with the same tahini dressing and several whole wheat, whole wheat wraps. Many essential vitamins are activated and absorbed best when eaten with fat, and hence I always try to have at least one source of fat with each meal. So for lunch I had those leftovers with the tahini dressing and, uh, and several whole meal wraps. I had also fried up a bunch of seijan to have with it. Um, I haven't really read much about any of these foods in combination, so maybe I did lunch completely wrong. But I don't think so, because the food really satisfied me, it tasted wonderful, and I managed to have my carbs, my protein, and my fats again. Mission accomplished. It also kept my energy up until about 3 o'clock when I had an apple. Fruit digests faster than many other foods, so I tend to have them as a snack, so on their own, um, at the start of the day with breakfast, or in combination with other fruits, or even with yogurt, which I don't think is very heavy. A little later, I had an Aduna bar. And I tried the chocolate variety. The cocoa beans apparently provide more antioxidants than blueberries. So I'm doing wonders for my body and for my skin. I have also tried out the berry and banana flavors during my working days earlier this week. Although my favorite is definitely the chocolate one. The others were also really, really nice. And it felt great to fuel myself with something that tasted so good and was so good for my body. 100% natural and organic. Each bar is free from added sugar and it is a great source of fiber, vitamin E and vitamin C. So again, E and C together. And they support energy release. This chocolate one I had was made of dates, cashew nuts, raisins, cacao powder, cacao nibs, cacao butter and orange peel oil. It was honestly really good and although I tend not to have pre-packaged kind of snacks, it was really convenient to have on hand. Um, so if I go anywhere, if I'm at work, it's just really nice to have really convenient and just really tasty. So um, yeah, I'll provide the link to these bars in the description. If you are interested, then... Um, do check it out with that link because um, I'm part of their affiliate program now, which makes me totally not biased. But yeah, honestly, I I do give my honest opinion and I think they were just really good. So yeah, check them out. After my snack, I was on a roll and I worked until 4.30. Uh, my working days supposedly go until five o'clock, but I had been very productive and I was finished. So I went home, um, had a little bit of chill time and time to get changed into different clothes because with the Manchester weather I was completely soaked and I wrote my diary and some more gratefulness before preparing dinner. Dinner was lasagna and um, I made lasagna with, what did I use exactly? I believe it was nine sheets of lasagna, one um, carton of tomato passata, one bag of spinach, a bit of kale, two bell peppers, about 
half a block of firm cauldron tofu, cashews, soy milk, some herbs and spices, an onion, and lots of vegan cheese. So I first sauteed the vegetables and then added the tomato sauce to that. This was my first layer. Then I added a layer of lasagna sheets, then a layer of ricotta, which was in fact um, blended up tofu with nutritional yeast, a bit of mustard, garlic, milk, soy milk. And cashews. So that became the next layer. Then some more of the vegetable tomato layer. More noodles. More vegetables and tomato sauce. More noodles. And then another layer of the ricotta cheese and then actual grated cheese. In this case, I used grated cheese from Sainsbury's which I really like, especially on casseroles. It's really good because it actually does taste a bit like cheddar cheese. And once it has melted, it does get that same sort of crunchy consistency as opposed to some vegan cheeses, which become sort of more plasticky and gross. So I really enjoyed this one, but I also have a whole bunch of other cheeses in my fridge right now that I will be trying out soon. They look very promising and I will let you know what I think of them. So, in terms of the health benefits of this wonderful dinner. First off, um, as most of you will probably know, vitamin C helps um, with the absorption of plant-based iron. So in this case, the tomato sauce and the bell peppers provided the vitamin C and the kale and spinach provided the iron. Moreover, the carotenoid lycopene in the tomatoes are made more bioavailable as a result of the olive oil in which the vegetables were sauteed and the fats in the cheese that were put on top of the dish. See, those cheese cravings are not that bad after all. Anyway, this is important because carotenoids are known to reduce cancer risk and cardiovascular disease. Vitamin D and calcium also go together. And in this dish, I believe vitamin D was found in the soy milk and uh, may therefore have helped the absorption of the calcium also in the milk and in the spinach. So obviously I am not an expert on this. I've sort of just googled these facts and I was quite surprised with how many of the combinations that I'm already naturally following and the kinds of foods that my body naturally wants. So yeah, I think the main point there is just to listen to your body and to just have a variety of foods because I think that's the most important thing if you have a variety of things there's not that much that you can really do wrong and there's no need to stress over it if um, your body feels fine, if you're feeling happy and healthy, then that is the most important thing. Anyway, with all the ingredients that I've told you were in the lasagna before, Tom and I um, ended up eating the entire casserole, half of the casserole each, and um, except for a tiny bite of chocolate, you know, for those antioxidants, of course, I didn't really have any dessert anymore. I was pretty much stuffed and that was my day of eating. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you will try out the lasagna recipe as well because that was really good and that you will check out the link to the Aduna bars in the description. Anyway, be sure to subscribe, to like, to share, all of that good stuff, and to stalk me on all my other social media links. Anyway, I will see you again next week. Yeah. Bye.